guys, it's me and today I'm here with my December library book haul. Where did time go? How are we on December already? It's unfair. <laughs> Realistically, when you're watching it, it's still November. But, you know, December's coming and I'm not ready for it. It's also the first time in a very long time that I'm filming a video on the day it needs to be uploaded. So wish me luck. I have five books to talk to you about today. So let's just quickly go through them. Like always, I don't have a whole lot to say on my library book haul because I don't know a whole lot about these books. Because the books I'm most interested in, I buy, I don't get from the library. So yeah. But the first book I'm going to talk about today is Tiny Pretty Things by Sona Sharapotra and Donna Clayton. I'm not entirely sure if I got the first author's name correctly, but I'll definitely look it up before I read this book and review it. But this series this book just got published in Dutch and the sequel already spoiler alert and the Netflix show is about to come out so I am very interested in reading it and hopefully I'll be able to get to it before the show comes out if not I'll just watch it a little bit later I don't want to read this and prep for the show because this sounds like something I would like a lot especially in like show form because from what I've heard from booktubers that I follow is that the series is like very dramatic like very very dramatic and I love books that are over the top dramatic and same with shows if they're over the top dramatic I'm obsessed that's why I pick up books and watch series about witch people because those usually tend to be the most dramatic and this isn't necessarily witch people but it's, it's supposed to be like very high drama it takes place at a ballet school that's what I know which honestly the world of ballet is brutal so I can see this being dramatic, honestly. Then, of course, I also got Shiny Poke in Pieces by the same authors. This is the sequel to this book. is also the last book in the duology. So duology is great. Oh, oh no, they haven't done that in this one yet. Okay, so his publisher recently started doing, like, these keywords at the bottom. They didn't do that in the first book, even though that also recently came out. I don't know why they didn't do that. But... They did do that on the sequel. So I can give you the best words that are on the back. Ballet, performance, um, betrayal, and competition. That's the back. <laughs> and honestly, betrayal is the best word on there. That's for me. So yeah, I just thought I'd smash out the entire duology before the series comes out. I'm just assuming these will be fairly quick reads. Do you have to say that these books look so pretty together? Because look at that. That, that, that's beautiful. The next book I have is this kind of an epic love story by Case and Calendar. I have heard some amazing things about Case and Calendar's books and then mainly the middle grade novels. But I also have heard, I've seen this book around before. This is also just got published on that. But I've seen the book around before like the internet and I just never clicked to me that's the same author. So... <laughs> I just kind of realized that when I was in the bookstore the other day and I saw the name Case and Kellen, I was like, oh! And I looked at the cover, I was like, oh! They're the same, it's the same person. So I got it from the library because I want to check it out. I know it's a queer love story following two boys. They look like two boys of color based on the cover. So that's a plus. I don't really know what else to say, but it's blurred by Adam Silvera on the back. I know the front, I didn't realize that. And the next book I have is The Star Wars Sea by Aaron Morgenstern, which I got from the library for like earlier on in the year and just didn't get around to it. But then recently I started following Olivia Rizzolatte on YouTube and she absolutely adores this book. So made me again more interested in this book. So <laughs> I can give you a small synopsis of this book. I know that this follows a guy who one day at the library finds this book that is like describing his life. So he has to go like an investigation to find out what that is, I guess. I know there's some secret symbols and everything. It's from the author of The Night Circus, which is also a beloved novel, which I've also been wanting to read for a while. But this is book within books. And I'm trying to figure out if I like that trope. So there we go. Then last but not least, I don't have a lot to say about it, is Rebel by Shiro Kagawa. If you've been follow me, following me around this year, you know, I've gotten absolutely obsessed with the Iron Fae world by Julia Kagawa. I'm not gonna say the series because the original series I didn't like, or I did like a spin off series, but I'm just a huge fan of the world and the characters, and I just really gobbled those stories up. And 
I was planning to not read any more Julie Kagawa this year to just kind of take a break and then get into her other series in, in 2021. But I own Talon, which is the first book into the series, which is about dragons. I'm not gonna read this back because that's not gonna help me. Um, it's about dragons who, as a part of their training, have to blend in into like the human world and live in the human world. And I think they befriend like dragon hunt um yeah, dragon, it's dragons, right? Yeah. Dragon hunters. I'm not entirely sure if that's the real synopsis because it's been so long since I've read that synopsis. It's one of the oldest books I to be are. So I, I don't know exactly, but that's what I vaguely remember. But yeah, I have that and I've been staring at it the entire month of November. I'm like, I wanna read you. So I took some like measures and got the second book from the library just in case I read the first one, get addicted to it, and want to immediately jump into the second one. So yeah, that's why I have this, but I don't have a whole lot to say about it. So yeah, that's it for my library haul. I know it's not a whole lot, but that's what you've come to know, I guess. And yeah, if you've read- Woo! They fell! If you've read any of these books, let me know in the below what you thought of them, as well as some of the books you recently got from your library, if you use a library, if you're not, why not? No, I get why some people aren't, but like, if you have access to a great library, use it, because it's worth it. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Good! Yeah.